Welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about Nanoseer, my favorite class, the class of my main, my first love, my last love, the Nanoseer. Okay, um, yes, like in the other class videos, we are going to be starting with just an overview of the skills available to the class, and then we're going to talk about stats for the class, uh, hunting rotations, and lesson investment and priority of what you should uh, aim to learn as quick as possible, and we're going to talk about a brief summary of what, how the class performs in PvP. So let's get started. So, Nanoseer has three abilities, Nanotech, Voidism, and Oblivion. Um, now, Nanotech is the control of nanites, and nanites are tiny little uh, micro-machines, uh, micro-bots, I don't know, uh, little tiny things in, uh, little tiny machines um, that uh, the nanites here controls in a swarm. And um, uh, Well, actually, there's not too much we're gonna worry about uh, in Nanotech at the moment. All we really want is repair. And in addition to repair, we're always going to, every single time you log in, you are going to nano charge. Uh, well, my goggles, whatever. I don't have goggles, who cares? You'll have goggles if you start off as nano here. I'm just switching around between, between classes as I do these videos, so. Um, nano, uh, this will start regenerating your nanites and uh, your repair ability will uh, consume said nanites. Um, there are a bunch of defenses that you're probably going to want eventually in Nanotech, um, especially Protect. Protect. Uh, we want Nanotech Protect. Um, this is uh, pretty, uh, um, uh, this is not far up. Uh, you can do this uh, really quickly. It's just going to uh, protect you from some damage. I forget exactly how much, 10% or 15%. Um, and it's worthwhile to just uh, get when you have the opportunity. Um, and the next uh, skill tree is Voidism. Voidism is the command of Void Kith. And uh, the main thing you're gonna want here is the first ability you get, Freeze. This is going to be your main bashing uh, skill forever. Um, there's a bunch of other great stuff, but most of it is PvP. Uh, now, the last skill is going to be Oblivion, and we'll talk more about this, because this is going to be mainly uh, what you're investing in to improve your hunting. Before we talk about that, let's go to stats. And like other classes, we're going to start with 50 in life force. We're going to max our regen, and then we're going to invest in Psyche. Psyche improves the damage for, for our voidism, voidism abilities, including, indeed, our only hunting ability we'll ever need, Freeze. Um, now, um, once you, uh, we'll, we'll go straight into the hunting rotations now and your lesson investments. I mentioned Protect, you'll probably want to take a moment to get that. Another thing that you'll, you'll eventually want to get is Eye Strike, Nano Eye Strike. This is going to be our interrupt ability. Um, and but as I mentioned in the Fury video, you can avoid uh, channel channeling mobs until you're level 50, and I recommend doing so. Um, but nevertheless, you're going to need to take a moment to get I, I strike once you're once you need to interrupt. Other than that, um, we're going to be investing entirely into Oblivion, and um, so the first thing we're going to need uh, is Frenzy, and uh, what Frenzy does uh, is it's for five attacks uh, going to uh, significantly increase the damage by uh, 25%, um, going to increase the damage of the attack. So basically we're going to be aiming to keep Frenzy up as fast as much as possible. So that's the first lesson, uh, the first one you should be aiming to get. Uh, along the way you'll pick up Swap, and Swap allows you to instantly swap to different Imperials. I guess I should mention really quickly that um, Imperials are basically, you'll, you'll channel a particular Imperial, so I have the Architect for instance, so we'll go channel Architect. Uh, I don't have my gauntlet. <laughs> um, 
So uh, when, once I have uh, the architect, I'm going to be able to use all these abilities that are under architect. So uh, we're, we're going to want to get the conqueror pretty quick and uh, use uh, frenzy as often as one can. Um, your sanity is what is used to use the oblivion abilities. So everything uh, in here costs sanity. And uh, with conqueror, um, and also different imperials have different re regen rates for your sanity. And um, with conqueror, you actually uh, don't uh, restore sanity all that fast, only at a 30% effectiveness. Um, but you do restore sanity when you kill another target, uh, when you kill the target. So uh, you can generally keep up um, frenzy while you're bashing. Uh, along the way, you'll get swap, which allows you to swap between Imperials without using channel, which consumes balance. Swap is on a cooldown. Everything in Nanoseer has a cooldown. That is one thing. If you don't like cooldowns, don't choose Nanoseer. Okay. Um, I'm just going to clan mute cesspool for now. That's our uh, OC clan. I don't want to be distracted by it right now. Um, so, uh, once you get uh, uh, speed up, that's going to be our, our next ability that we're aiming for. Speed up uh, is a room effect. It speeds up balance recovery for everybody in the room, including mobs. So um, this um, basically increases how fast you're killing mobs. And um, I mean, it also increases how fast mobs are killing you, but that's generally not such a problem, right? Um, so. Basically, the idea is you're going to be having Frenzy, and you're going to be swapping over to... Uh, you're going to be on Conquer, and you're going to swap over to Traveler. You're going to use Speed Up if there's enough targets in the room to warrant it, uh, and you have enough Sanity to warrant it. Uh, and then you're going to swap back to Conquer, and swap back to the Traveler, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is all going to get a hell of a lot easier once we have... Not nano affinity, but rather oblivion affinity, and it's quite high up there in the oblivion tree. But we can go straight for it, uh, probably after eye strike. And what affinity allows you to do is it uh, you gain access to multiple imperials. Um, so what this ha what happens is uh, let's say I channel traveler, or I channel conqueror, and then I affinity uh, the other one. That means I have access to all of, I have access to speed up and frenzy at the same time, but I have only 75% max sanity. That's not too bad though. Uh, it means we're not using swap, which also consumes sanity uh, and has cool down. Um, so affinity is really going to be a big boost in uh, your hunting strength. Now, um, at this point, you might want to take a foray. Uh, into voidism and get 0. 0.0. 0 um, increases the damage from freeze by, I believe, 15%. Um, and it's useful if there's a lot of targets in the room. Um, it's not really used once you hit end game all that much. Um, but it can be useful if you're in a room with lots of targets that you want to kill. It lasts for a long time, so you can cast it once and then that 15% damage is going to um, apply to uh, your whole stay during that room. Um, so 0, 0.0 can be useful, um, not necessarily a mega priority. And that's pretty much it, I believe, in terms of stuff you'll want. Yeah, that's all you That's all you need as an NSEA, really. Um, eventually, uh, we can talk about P PvP now. There's a few things you're going to want. The core, I would say, the, the core uh, uh, nanoseer um, path, I would say, is uh, the mind path. And the, the goal is to either mind melt or break down your target. And nanoseers have three different insta kills, many different ways to kill your target. Um, but generally, what you'll do is you will attack their mind subsystem using confound. This is going to deliver a mind F. Uh, mind affliction, and you're going to use mind swap, which is going to take a mind a mind subsystem, and over a period of time is going to swap it out to a different affliction, and this is going to uh, eventually over time the afflictions on your opponent will pile up, and you'll be able to use um, mind drain, which uh, will deal 
damage uh, directly to their mind subsystem based upon the number of mental afflictions. Um, you won't be doing much damage. There is some, there are some afflictions that will be dealing some damage, but all otherwise, all of these abilities do not deal any damage. As a nanoseer, your main um, focus, if you're using the mind path, is your uh, mind afflictions, hindering the target with afflictions, that sort of thing. So if you like that kind of uh, dynamic, then uh, nanoseer is definitely for you. I will say it's a very, I would say, challenging class to play if you're going to do the mind path um, because um, you'll, you'll, uh, um, you don't always immediately win fights. Uh, if you saw the last video, it's not like you're doing a whole bunch of damage. Uh, you, you, you have to um, pile on AFs and you have to, a lot of the times, kite your opponent if, uh, if, uh, they're getting ahead in any way. It's also a very slow um, uh, insta kill, so the the path to getting to mind melt or break breakdown is very long. So these are generally prolonged fights in which um, uh, you are uh, evading death from straight up damage many times uh, before you finally get there. Now, uh, uh, Nanosphere. That said, Nanosphere also has. Uh, Voidism, and uh, basically freeze uh, uh, lets you stack up frozen stacks on them, and the other thing that lets you do this is room drain, and room drain is going to add three stacks of frozen, and for each stack of frozen you have, freeze deals more damage, and indeed all, uh, pretty much all your damage sources deal more damage when you have more freeze stacks. So, um, one of the uh, main uh, strategies here, if you're jumping someone or you're in group combat or you think you can win with straight up damage, is uh, just to go um, for a pure void voidism route. You'll be using some uh, skills from Oblivion, such as speeding up the room and such. You can also use vacuum spheres for, um, these are sort of the big bomb. Uh, you drop a vacuum sphere seven to nine seconds later or so, it will explode and deal a shit ton of damage to everyone in the room, including yourself. But it'll deal more damage to your opponents because they are going to have frozen stacks on them and you are not. So uh, Vacuum Sphere, very strong uh, for heavy burst damage. Um, and you can kill a lot of people very quickly if they are not careful uh, using the Void strategy. And uh, I really enjoy it because uh, it's, it's, it's nice. I, what you can do with Void is if you're going Mind uh, and uh, it's not going well, you can switch to Void for a while to tell your opponent that they need to get out of your face. And uh, maybe you can reset the fight. Uh, you can try to get them with mind, uh, with with um, Void again, or you can switch back to Mind. Uh, maybe they've chewed through some of their Mend at that point. And, uh, so th it tends to be a prolonged fight if the opponent knows what they're doing and doesn't immediately die. Um, most skilled combatants won't die to um, to Void, but um, uh, the general concept of Void is that uh, over a period of time it's going to start dealing enough damage to their internal system. And, um, and uh, also uh, depends on their muscular system, and you can use um, Limb Drain. To attack their muscular system and uh, what limb drain does is it'll apply the damaged arms and legs afflictions which is uh, are really good afflictions that you you'll probably want uh, to use if you're doing uh, uh, void and that'll slow down um, slow down the opponent quite a bit and also decrease the amount of damage they're doing um, I'm getting rather involved in the uh, PvP discussion of Nanos here because it's uh, my uh, favorite class and uh, it's the one I know most about. So don't mind if I, we're getting more detail here in Nanos here than we are in the other classes. But um, yeah, the sh Shatter will instantly kill your target uh, if they uh, either have 10 stacks of Frozen uh, or... Uh, my, minus one stack per 15% of damage in their muscular and internal systems. So, um, yeah, that's 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 Shatter, um, and that's Nanoseer PvP in a nutshell. 
in group combat. Um, Nano Seers are a bit of a glass cannon class, I would say, with some active uh, abilities that help them stay alive. So one of the big abilities to help Nano Seers stay alive is Pax, which uh, for 10 seconds completely pieces the room. No one can use any aggressive actions in the room. This lets you, um, in sort of uh, split second moments, uh, say, like reset a fight or, uh, or what have you. Uh, you also have um, Interdict. Interdict uh, is a channeled ability. Once you start the Interdict, um, until you're interrupted or until you stop the channel, no attacks deal any damage. So this is a nice ability to use um, to save your teammates from fatal damage um, or um, to generally uh, buy yourself some time if you need it. Uh, a good combatant will instantly interrupt interdict, but um, not everyone will. So, uh, and even if they do instantly interrupt it, you might manage to save a heck of a lot of burst damage, for instance, from a vacuum speed or something like that from the opponent uh, on your teammate. And uh, interdict will help you do that. The other thing they have, this is an important ability in group combat, is grounding. For the next 30 seconds, uh, prevent all force movement attempts in your room. This uh, basically nullifies um, things like Smash and Outburst that we talked about in Beast and Fury videos. Uh, voluntary movement still works, but there will be no force movement at all in the room for 30 seconds, and that is super strong. Um, that is about it. I guess the other thing to mention is slow down. This is the corollary to speed up. You can increase the balance recovery time for everyone present, including yourself. This can also be useful to buy time in group engagements. And there's also one ability, uh, Oblivion Timeline, that will let you, um, so for instance, uh, if your uh, ally is getting uh, pummeled, you can uh, store their current vitals. And then within, I believe, 15 seconds, yeah, 15 seconds, you can revert. And that's gonna restore their vitals back to where it was um when you store when you when you store their vitals um this can be very useful in group combat as a healing ability um you can't do this on yourself you have to do it on the opponent um and generally generally speaking you need you do need to coordinate with your opponent in order for to pull this off so timeline also very useful uh, another one that's really useful i i just love nanas here because there's so many different abilities that can be used in really niche situations and uh, you can bring a lot of these you can leverage a lot of them in combat situations depending on um, uh, yeah the situation maladies uh, basically takes every single affliction that you have and uh, your allies will and, and apply them to everybody in the room and your allies have a slight chance to avoid said maladies so um, incredibly useful if you have a bunch of afflictions on you Oh boy, you can uh, you can take take your uh, opponents back right immediately with set afflictions. So very strong ability maladies. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. That that's the Nanos here. Not too much for hunting. A lot of stuff to, that you can do with P in PvP. Uh, really fun class. My favorite. Void kids forever. Nanites are the best. Anyway, bye.